My glasses are fogging up because I just ran outside and, oh, I can't see. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, if you're new here. I need to slow down, hold on. <laughs> if you're not new here, welcome back. We are a brand new corner of YouTube. Anyway, if you watched my first Stitch Fix unboxing, I have another one here for you. Oh my goodness. You guys, I've been waiting for this for like two weeks. Right after my last Stitch Fix came, I ordered another one because I'm upset. Got my trusty, trusty keys here. We're gonna just dip right in. If you didn't see my last unboxing, I did keep, I did keep all five items um, from my first Stitch Fix and I thought that was totally, totally acceptable. Whew, this is what it looks like inside. This box is just as big as my other one, so I'm kind of excited to see everything. Here is the return label, my envelope, and my burrito. Oh my goodness. Wow, there's a lot of really dark colors in here. I'm kind of scared. Huh. Okay, so real quick, I did ask for, I literally, I asked for the same stylist that I had last time, which was Rachel. I told her, I was like, I really want a moto pair of pants that aren't black. I want a pair of black hold skinny jeans. I want a pair of joggers. I want shorts. I want a dress. Like, I want spring pieces. And then I literally just told her, you know what, I'm open to anything. So hopefully this is a good reflection on my, my style and what I asked for. I'm a little nervous about how dark this box is because I don't wear a lot of dark colors usually, especially in the spring and summertime. Because it gets hot here in Michigan. Which for you, a lot of you non-Michiganders, you're probably like laughing at me. So anyway, um, this is my price sheet. I'm going to set this aside for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my little note. And I'm going to fold it so I don't see anything. It says, hello again, Elizabeth. I'm glad you had a great first experience with me as your stylist. Thank you for leaving me helpful feedback during your checkout process for each item. The more you tell me, the easier it is for me to get to know you and your style, which improves the quality of your fixes. I did last time on every single item, I told her why I was keeping it and what I liked about it and everything like that. So I see you're going to Florida soon, so I focused this fix on making it easier for you to pack for that trip. I'll send joggers and black denim in your next fix. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, joggers and black denim. Ooh, I'm really excited for that. Try everything on, look good and feel great. Enjoy, Rachel. Okay, I'm not going to read what she's suggesting to style it with because I want it to be a surprise. All right, let's dive into the burrito. I'm going to put this paper down so it doesn't crinkle. Okay, so this looks like a top right on top. <laughs> I cracked myself up. The first thing I see is a top. And this looks like a tank top. Okay, this is pretty. I got a keyhole neckline. I can't, American Able. And this is a dark, in the color dark gray, and it's a medium. So I'm usually, a, generally a small to a medium in shirts. It depends on the fit of them. If you guys remember from last video, I got a medium cardigan from Honey Punch and I was able to exchange that and they sent me a small and it fits so much better. But it might be a little too dark for spring and summer, like what I'm looking for. I guess if I found like a floral cardigan to go over top of it, oh my gosh, or a jean jacket, a denim jean jacket over top of this would be really cute actually for spring with some bright jewelry. Okay, maybe this has more potential than I thought. We'll see how she recommends to style it. I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on at the end. This next thing is the Paper Moon Reese Reese mixed material top. It's a it's in the color black and it's a medium. So it's got these little I love purple. It's got like these little <laughs> you guys, this is so bad. They look like little plugs. Like what you would plug into your wall. Like I guess flowers on them. But again, it's black. I don't wear a lot of black, but I'm open to it. This is definitely my style shirt. It's very similar to the one I'm wearing. This is just like the short sleeve version. Definitely my style. So I see where she was going with this. I'm a little worried that it's going to be a little bit big. This looks a little bit big. And then this is just the back, just like a plain black. Again, not really a color that I would pin for spring, but maybe if I found like a bright colored cardigan to wear over top of it, it would look cute. Ooh, this next piece is super soft. This is very similar to something I received in my last fix. This is the Harper Lane Helen Open Drape Cardigan in light purple. Girl got me with the purple. Oh my gosh, and it's a Stitch Fix exclu exclusive. I do like this sweater. It's just very similar to the Honey Punch cardigan that I got in my last fix. Granted, this is more purple. It's pretty. It's really soft. It's open. Ooh, does it have pockets? Oh no, I thought it had pockets, but very open and flowy. We'll see how this fits. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> um, again, kind of a dark color. 
It's another Stitch Fix exclusive. Okay, I like that. This is the French Grey Robin Knit Dress. Oh, I saw a girl unbox this. Okay, so this is obviously a dress. And it does have some blush and light blue tones in it. So I kind of see where she was going with the springy aspect. And I do love dresses. And it's kind of got cinching here. The only problem with dresses that have this kind of cinching is where my rib cage sits on my body. Can sometimes, if these elastic bands can sometimes make me look wider than I actually am if they don't hit me in the right spot. But this looks really good. It's not terribly soft, but it might be cute on. It'd be cute for Florida just as like an easy to pack piece if it works. Oh my gosh, and she sent me shorts. Okay, these are the Just Black Romeo Distressed Cuffed Frayed Hem Denim Shorts in the color blue. These look really big, but they are 27. This is the front of them so you guys can see. Okay, these are cute. I do, I do need some new shorts, so I do really like these. And if they fit me nicely, they just look really large. If they fit me or if I think I could do with a different size, then I may as well buy them just because and you can never go wrong with a good pair of blue denim. I'm going to try all this stuff on, and I will be right back. All right, you guys. So I am back. The shorts are very large on me. I mean, like, I could fit a whole nother person in here. But I do really, really like these. I would probably go for it too. Yeah, I do really like these. These are super cute. And I do really like this shirt too. It's a little bit long, so I would probably get a small so this is the first shirt. This is the second shirt. Again, kind of big. I probably won't be keeping this shirt just because it is. It is my style, but I don't really like the sleeves as much. I don't really know how I feel about this for Florida. Let me try it on with the cardigan. Oh, okay. This cardigan is real nice. Hmm. I mean, okay, with the cardigan, it's not too bad. I do need a smaller size. I would need a smaller size in this shirt, definitely. I like it better with the cardigan. I just don't like it alone. And since we're still trying to, we're, we haven't even gotten to spring or summer yet, I do really like this cardigan, though. And I don't have any, even though my Honey Punch one was more of, like, a blush color, I don't have any that are, like, a lilac color. This would be cute to, like, teach in for school, but even then, I don't know. It's not my favorite. So here's the dress. Oh, boy. It's cute. Um, I wouldn't say, okay, this is really flattering on me. I don't know if I would go down to a small in it or not. It is a little big up here, but I think even with a strapless bra on, this would look cute. I'm 5'6", and it hits me just above my knee. This would be a dress that I could wear to teach in because it is high-waisted. Er, high oh, my lands. It is high neck, and I could just chuck a cardigan on over top of it. I've got a lot of hard decisions to make. I'm just going to leave this dress on because I can't be bothered to take it off right now. And I'm freezing. It's fine. So let me see what she, how she suggested style this. So, okay, yeah, she does. Oh, my gosh. That gray shirt, she does suggest to style it with a denim jacket. And I have a pair of olive shorts. That would look super cute for Florida. Okay, let's see how much everything is. It's going to be the real test of time. I... Don't think I got my $20 styling fee this time just because my last box, if you guys remember, did show up to my house damaged, very damaged. And so I reached out to the company and they waived my $20 styling fee. So I don't know if it applied this time. No, it didn't. I'm looking at it right now. It did not apply this time. So the Harper Lane Helen Open Drape Cardigan. Let me pull all this stuff back on my lap. So this cardigan is $64. <sighs> I don't know, you guys. That's probably going to be a maybe. I feel like I could go to TJ Maxx and find a very similar one for a lot cheaper. So I'll probably I'll probably send this back. And it's so similar to my Honey Punch cardigan that I just got. So yeah, I'll send that back. The Just Black Romeo Distressed Cuff Frayed Jeans. Okay, these I will, I think I will be keeping just because I loved them. However, they are too big. So these I will definitely be keeping. However, I do have to exchange them for A2. I will send these back in the mail, but on the app you can exchange items. So I'm going to exchange these for a two, but I'll probably be keeping those. $58. I don't know if I told you that. This top, as much as I like it, I do really like this shirt. I just don't know if it's practical enough for spring and summer. I feel like it's more practical for fall, unless dark colors are in for spring this year. I don't foresee myself wearing this, so I'm going to... Send that shirt back. It is cute, though. I do like the style. She's right on track with that. It's just I don't care for the color so much. But that black top I just showed you was the Paper Moon Reese Mixed Material Top in black, size medium, $38. That's so cheap. What the heck? Okay. So this dress that I have on, this is the 
French gray Robin knit dress in black. It's a medium and it's $48. Okay. Here's where I get a little discouraged because I do like this shirt, this gray shirt that I'm... However, I have very similar tank tops to this. So I probably won't be keeping this. I'll probably just keep the dress and these shorts as long as the math adds up. Let me do some quick math here. 106 and my order total to buy all five is 178. For $70 more, I can keep three more items. I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm going to crunch some numbers real quick and I will be right back. I am back. I've crunched some numbers. I think I'm going to keep this dress and these shorts. See, now that I say that out loud, though, I don't, I like this dress. It's just not very summery, you know? I, I think the print is summery. I just don't think the colors are very spring, summer. I think I'm going to keep the shorts and the tank top. But unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to exchange both of these for a smaller size. I did like the way that this fit, but I think I would be more comfortable if it was in a small just because it is kind of a flowier top. And then I'm going to let my stylist know that I'm changing my sizes on my profile and tops because these all seem to be kind of big. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep these two items and then let's see what she said to recommend to wear it with. I started by finding the French gray dress. This is comfortable and will look adorable with sandals on the beach or with heels and the light purple Harper Lane cardigan for added warmth to dinner at sunset. Pair the denim just black shorts with the tops and the fix and the THML tank and Emery Park tee from your last fix. That's all I'm going to do for today, you guys. I have to quick say what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to take. Write her some notes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for staying tuned, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye. So... I did just want to update you guys real quick because I did just check out with Stitch Fix and I'm kind of disappointed because I was going to exchange those shorts because I loved those shorts and I went through and looked through my drawers and I had no shorts that looked like that at all. I went to the app to exchange the shorts and they only had them in a six and I needed a two. I was super bummed. I didn't end up keeping them because if they don't fit, I'm not going to wear them. There's no sense in me keeping shorts that I'm going to be having to hike up constantly. And I hate belts. I did end up keeping the tank top. I tried it on with a, with a pair of skinny jeans. And I thought I was going to exchange it for a smaller size. But I kind of like the fit of it. And it looks really cute tied up. So I'm just going to keep that. So instead of keeping the shorts, I kept the dress because I figured... Since it is spring and summer, I'm going to get a lot more use. I'm going to get a lot of use out of the dress because I usually like wearing dresses and rompers in the spring and summer. I just want to hop on real quick and update you guys and let you know that that's what I ended up having to do. All right. Bye.